Definitely we've got the details for you right now as we're getting them into our weather center. Just tweeted them out as well. Let's show you what's going on first. Uh, here's the latest satellite picture. You can see the eye still well defined on the storm. It continues to churn through the ocean. Uh, the uh, outer edge of this thing has uh, really kind of tightened up a little bit. You can see it. It's just getting condensed and really starting to work off, continuing off to the west northwest now about 975 miles east southeast of Cape Fear, North Carolina. We look at the latest from the National Hurricane Center 5 a.m. update. Max winds holding at 140 gusts going to 165, still a category four moving west northwest 15 miles per hour. So we look at the movement of this storm and we'll push it out to about Friday 2 a.m. Notice the uh, National Hurricane Center showing that landfall possibly around Friday Thursday night into Friday morning making landfall. They've tightened up the cone where that could happen from Hatteras down toward uh, just the Myrtle Beach area. Almost all of the eastern uh, north southeastern Carolina coast now under that possible hit for a strike. But after that, watch what happens to the 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 uh, the track, it just blows up into this big circle. It's because we're not sure where this thing is going to go past for about Friday at 2 a.m. But between Friday and Sunday, it could meander around anywhere in that big yellow area. That includes almost the entire state. If it goes north of here, that would mean heavier rainfall. If it goes south of here, or north of here, that would mean less rainfall. If it goes south here, that would mean heavier rainfall. Now we're looking at the latest QPF, the precipitation forecast. This has just changed. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take that off. I'm going to update it because those numbers are not correct. They've actually put the heavier rain back to the east a little bit, and I'll show that to you in just a moment. As far as the timing of the wind right now, this is tropical storm force winds, 39 to 73 mile an hour winds. They hit the coast around Thursday, 8 a.m., most likely timing. And then in our area, still looking like Thursday evening around 8 o'clock, we would see winds gusting over 39 miles an hour. Uh, let's talk about our day ahead real quick. Uh, today, we really aren't dealing with the hurricane. We will be dealing with some pop-up showers and thunderstorms. We're still in the heat and humidity. Your hour-by-hour hour forecast showing those numbers in the 70s through 10 o'clock, and then we'll see 80s by 11 o'clock, and then upper 80s as we go into the afternoon with that chance of showers and storms. And We'll talk more about our weather today. Plus, I'm going to go update that rainfall forecast. We'll adjust it uh, since that data just came in. We'll have a complete update for you coming up in just a bit.